All right, friends, are these the top stocks to buy? Today we're going to check out ZMJ, KS, TSLA, SDC, and TAN. Let's get started. Chartguys.com. Become a confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Let's check out some charts. Okay, before we jump into analysis, which is my favorite part of the day, I love doing ticker analysis, getting ready for tomorrow. It's a huge part of what we do. Uh, but before we jump into that analysis, I just want to show you guys Chart Guy Lori is on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, uh, don't go on it. But if you already are hooked, uh, check it out. Uh, Chart Guy Lori dropping a lot of great information midday, a lot of pre market setups, um, key levels to watch for, a lot of what we do condensed into one minute analysis. Absolutely worth your time to check out Lori's TikTok. Uh, okay, let's get started. ZM daily time frame. Now, this is interesting because I have not looked at ZM for a few days. We still are in this overall tightening range on the daily time frame, and we have this low right there at 507.49. Now, the reason that I've left this big squiggle is because we found an area of support that held, and what we we're looking for was a bounce off that level, a lower high, and then downside continuation. So, we got our lower high that 507.49, so that worked out pretty well. We'll go ahead and get rid of these squiggles. I want to keep the rest of that data there. Now, what I'm interested in a four hour time frame is that we are sort of just not doing anything. And if we go over here to look at our anaconda squeeze, we can see that we are getting a squeeze signal on the four hour time frame, which means we are getting compressed. All of the price action has similar volume, but has nowhere to go. So we see that our Bollinger Bands are tightening up. And that means we can get ready for an explosive move. We don't really have a direction for that move quite yet, but that's where price action comes in. So I would expect something pretty interesting to be happening on ZM in the short term. Now, how are we going to know what's going on there? We're going to keep an eye on our four hour higher lows right now. I want to see a higher low over 473.22. We haven't confirmed this wick as a higher low yet, and we have a contained range here on the four hour at 49.49. 489.49. On the hourly time frame, you can see how we are sort of just going sideways inside this general range with no real confident moves. We have broken over 47.90 without any follow through, and we are just sort of in this box of fun. So, what I'm going to look for for a bull break, I want to see a good signal for the upside or downside. Don't really care which one. I want to see us over 49. 489.49, and I want to see the bulls do it on good volume. I want to see the return uh, of sus suspended price action, which is currently suspended and coiling and getting all energized and jacked up. I want to see an explosive move. Uh, I think bulls over 489.49 will do it, and below, bears below 473.22 will do it. Our early time frame just ever, ever, ever so slightly favors the bulls at these higher highs. But it's all about this boring contained box and the overall four hour tightening range that we're seeing. Daily time frame still poised and well set for upside continuation inside this no longer beautiful descending triangle. The problem with descending triangles on the four hour time frame is we would have already broken up out of that pattern and not seen any follow through, which means our pattern is incorrect. So we'll see what ZM is going to do for us in tomorrow um, and Monday's action. JKS, okay. So this is a, another solar name and we're gonna cover, uh, why don't we do tan right after this because they're very, very related. Actually, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do JKS first. So under most of these names, we are looking for overdue consolidation. The solar sector has been just nuts. Hasn't really followed a lot of the rules as far as overbought conditions go and we know that when we are in crazy breakout modes we throw RSI out the window. RSI is an outstanding tool for buying oversold bounces and it's an outstanding tool for finding trend levels. Uh, when you're in a hype scenario with absolute nutty volume it doesn't do a lot for us. We have been overbought um, since the 21st on JKS. So what we're looking for on this name, just like on 10, is going to be the hourly trend change. On the daily time frame, we can see that we have a, a huge potential daily climax, so a volume climax. We have an indecision candlestick today. Actually, leans a little bit bearish, and we're, we're way overdue for consolidation. Go to the four hour time frame, we are still hit, hitting four hour higher lows. So we have a couple of support levels carved out here 44.22, and our next four hour support level at the low of 52.07. 
When we go to the hourly time frame, this is where things start to get a little bit wobbly. So this looks a little bit better than TAN does, and we'll get to TAN next, but we are at risk of losing our hourly uptrend. We have just defended 5207, and we don't like the fact that we got up high and got an immediate pushback by the bears. That tells us that the story is changing a little bit, and the bullish momentum that got us to this point may be wavering. And you combine that with the fact that we had this huge volume climax today, or should say potential volume climax today, uh, things are starting to look a little bit hesitant. So going into tomorrow, what I would look for would be a loss of 5307 and 5207. Get those two things knocked out of the way. Then we have uh, knocked out our hourly supports and all we have is our four hour 4422. Anything over that will give us a four hour higher low. After that, all we would expect would be a four hour lower high and perhaps daily consolidation that we so desperately need because that would just start to cool off our daily chart. So until this happens, JKS, bulls in absolute control, just as they have been for all of these candlesticks. TAN, related name, TAN is a solar ETF that very likely holds JKS. So a lot of the behaviors are going to be quite similar. A lot of the lessons are very similar. In yesterday's video, we just talked about the fact that we are looking for the continuation of hourly higher lows as we have seen for the vast majority of this time. Uh, on today's trading action, we lost a couple of key levels. We lost our low of our day. We'll get in there on the 15. That was 74.95. Didn't see a ton of follow through. Now we saw a loss of 74.45, which is for our hourly higher low. Go to the 15 minute time frame. Those are those two losses. Now looking for a 15 minute lower high into downside continuation. That would be the most likely outcome for the four hour time frame because we haven't had good consolidation on the four hour. Uh, until the range of 7012. So we are way overdue for pullback. Uh, this is the first sign of weakness on TAN. Now we need to see if bears are going to capitalize on the opportunity that they have carved out for themselves. So it is up to the bears to prove that they want to see some follow through here. Tesla. So Tesla on the daily time frame is interesting for a couple of reasons. First, we're still inside this daily equilibrium and we have a little bit of a balance issue at hand where bulls tried to open strong and they just could not hold on to anything for the duration of the day. It was a relatively strong day in a lot of different sectors and names, but we didn't see any of that uh, held on, on Tesla. Now there's a couple things to point out, first of all, on the daily time frame. In this breakout, we saw some downside, then we saw some opportunistic moves. Finally, we lost our key levels and we saw some consolidation. Uh, right after this, we see our breakout, we see some optimist, opt, optimistic moves, and then we got a key level. So the setups are not dissimilar. We'll see if we have some follow through. It's, it's nice to see that bounce and have some strength, but it's still a lower high. And this is why I'm referencing this area of action. High, low, bounce, lower high, downside. Here we have our high, our bounce, possible lower high, then I would expect downside. So I'm, until bulls break over 4, 448.88, I'm looking for basically just meandering action inside the daily time frame, and then eventually a higher low over that 351.30. Going to the hourly time frame, what are we doing here? Chopping around a little bit. We have a 15 minute uptrend and we lost that for the duration of the day. Here you see that change course. We are now heading to the downside, a little bit of bull action after hours, but I wouldn't have much confidence in that. Can we find anything optimistic for the bulls? There's a potential for a little bit of a bull flag in this four hour, but I just don't see a lot of momentum behind that upside push that we should be consolidating in now if we did have a bull flag. Uh, best case scenario, bulls show up and then they gotta get over this 439.13 resistance. So it's a little bit uh, seesaw, teeter-tottery right now on the four hour and the daily time frame, but I'm still expecting more downside to follow until bulls can prove themselves. Uh, I expect continuation inside the overall pattern. SDC. SDC on the daily, let's go back to our standard chart. Get rid of that little EMA. Uh, overall on the daily time frame, actually let's start on the weekly. So weekly has had an opportunity to consolidate. We have a nice higher low formed here and bulls are continuing to the upside. So I don't see any reason to doubt them at this point. Big 
bearish candlestick yesterday, despite the big uh, body on this uh, and the decent volume, there was a lot of profit taking and downside pressure. The fact that we opened higher, saw some volatility, tells me that there is a little bit of indecision here. So what we can do is play this as an inside bar and we will look to a break of one of these levels in our action early tomorrow. Ideally, it takes place during regular market action. And on the four hour time frame, a possible flag type setup. And actually it looks a little bit better now. So when we're looking for a flag, we want to see that big run up. Then we want to see consolidation that forms into a trend. That trend usually will stay nice and tight. It will form something pretty useful like this. We can open above as long as we stay below with a green candlestick. So what we're going to look for would be either to break this pattern and get over 1294 Let's adjust that 12.99 or 13 psychological. If we can do that on the hourly time frame, I think that will be a nice breakout and continuation on the four hour chart. If we simply stay inside this pattern, then we are going to look for hourly downside and 12.26 rejection and the low underneath 12.33. If that happens, then we will just be looking for continuation of this trend. The daily time frame hasn't consolidated. Let's see, since down here at the low of 11.47. Okay, that's it for round one of our TCG tickers. If you uh, have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. If I misspoke, you need some clarification on something, or just have a question in general about what we do, check out chartguys.com. Support at chartguys.com is a place you can reach me if you don't want to add, ask a YouTube question. And uh, let's get started on round two.